Welcome back to HodgePodge. We have finally learned all the skills we need to complete exercise 15. So let's go ahead and put them to use. In this tutorial, we will be creating the arrow drawing you see here, starting by entering the absolute coordinates of the starting point, negative 11 and 0. For the next point, enter the coordinates R, negative 2, negative 2. Then for our next point, we will enter 8 to define the distance of our line. Hold down shift to automatically snap your line to every 90 degree increment. Then we will enter yet another relative coordinate by typing R11. For our next point, we will type R11 less than 0. Now type R1 and hold shift to snap your line to an automatic 90 degrees south. To end our drawing, we will type R62. We could draw the second half of our arrow, however copying and pasting our first half would take much less time. In the top menu, select Transform and Mirror. Enter 0 as your start point of your mirror, and then hold shift to snap to every 90 degree interval. After doing so, we will select both sides of the arrow, and from the top menu, select Solid, Extrude, Planar, Straight. We will type 1 and hit Enter for the distance of our extrusion. Now this portion of the tutorial is a tiny bit inaccurate, but I will go through the steps that it lists for you to learn as you normally would. We can make our arrow all the more three-dimensional by revolving it around its center axes. We can do this by going to the top menu and selecting Surface Revolve. Select your extrusion, then draw the axis of the surface revolve. We will revolve 360 degrees to get a full circle extrusion. So because the end of our arrow is flat and one millimeter thick, the end of the surface revolve will also be flat. There is a way to get the effect shown in the tutorial, however the tutorial does not list the proper steps to do so. If someone else knows, please feel free to share in the comment section below. For now, I will delete the outer shell of the revolve and we will get something close to what we want. So there is one more skill we will be learning with exercise 15, and that is how to bend our arrow. To do so, go to the top menu and select Transform Bend. Click to place the start and end of the spine to your bend. Then click a third time to place a point to bend through. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share and like this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.